this is Gali Gopar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to increase human growth hormone levels naturally. Human growth hormone is an important hormone produced in the pituitary gland, which stimulates tissue and bone growth in humans. <clears throat> this is a vital hormone that helps increase bone mineral density and it reduces the incidence of having a heart attack by increasing LD HDL levels and HDL cholesterol levels and reducing a total and LDL uh, considered the bad cholesterol. Uh, reducing also, it also reduces blood pressure, fat mass and C-reactive protein levels, which is an indicator of heart disease. Furthermore, uh, of inflammation and heart disease. Uh, furthermore, human growth hormone also regulates cognitive and metabolic function and adrenaline release and it boosts muscle growth muscle strength and exercise performance and helps the body recover faster from injury and from disease so growth hormone also helps in sleep disturbances because it regulates our sleep um, uh, our sleep cycles and helps us get more and prolonged and deeper sleep now, depending on your age, uh, low levels of human growth hormone may increase your risk for disease. It supports weight gain and overall decreases your quality of life. This is low levels of human growth hormone levels in your body. However, human growth hormone replacement uh, therapy is only best for people who suffer from severe growth hormone deficiency, whereby this uh, therapy has unquestionable benefits. Otherwise, a proper healthy diet with some lifestyle changes can significantly affect growth hormone levels without the risks involved of in hormone uh, growth hormone replacement therapy uh, when it is not necessary. I will cover this at the end of this video. So which foods increase uh, growth hormone levels, allowing uh, their levels to naturally rise in the body and to help you enjoy the benefits of higher uh, growth hormone levels without their side effects? Well, first of all, melatonin rich foods melatonin rich foods can help you boost your uh, levels of growth hormone naturally human growth hormone is released as we sleep which regulates sleep cycles a snack before bedtime with a melatonin rich food will increase the melatonin release at night facilitating um, a transition into sleep and also promoting a consistent and quality sleep while increasing um, uh, growth hormone levels. So uh, foods rich in melatonin include tart cherries, these are a little bit sour cherries, tomatoes, grapes, nuts, mustard, and raspberries and uh, most, most berries and pomegranate seeds. It is best to get melatonin from foods However, for jet lag and for shift workers and to help children ad adjust to a healthier sleep schedule and establish good sleeping habits, especially for teenagers, melatonin supplements can be taken as a relief, but it's not advised uh, for long-term usage. Now, the second food group you want to increase to raise your growth hormone levels are tryptophan-rich foods. A study in 2014 has shown that tryptophan-rich foods can significantly boost uh, growth hormone levels. Now, in my art, in my video, uh, foods that influence a positive mood, I talk about all the benefits of tryptophan and the, the food uh, and the practices that you should uh, follow when you're consuming these foods to increase uh, to maximize uh, absorption of tryptophan in the body. First of all, foods that are rich in tryptophan uh, uh, include consuming whole grains with legumes, with a protein, so uh, a carbohydrate with a protein. Uh, whole grain carbohydrate with a plant-based protein is the best way. I, I talk about this in that video, which I recommend you watch. Now also consuming tryptophan rich foods together with exposure to sunlight or vitamin D supplementation when skin exposure to the sun is not possible will significantly boost growth hormone levels. It is also possible to take uh, tryptophan supplements and uh, as well as uh, together with vitamin D supplements. Now another food group are arginine rich foods. Arginine stimulates growth hormone secretion by boosting growth hormone production while also suppressing the secretion of growth hormone inhibiting, inhibiting hormone. So arginine rich foods include seeds of all types, um, 
try to go for non-roasted seeds, uh, non-salted, non-roasted seeds, natural seeds. Uh, also nuts, the same goes for nuts, as well as brown rice and soya beans. It is also possible to take arginine supplements. Uh, other natural supplements that you may want to include are glutamine and glycine. Now, lifestyle changes that boost growth hormone levels are number one, losing body fat. The amount of belly fat that we carry is directly related to our growth hormone production. Those who have higher levels of belly fat uh, may have impaired growth hormone production. Belly fat, also known as visceral fat, is the most dangerous type of stored fat and numerous studies have, been, have linked it to many diseases. By losing belly fat, we can help optimize um, our growth hormone levels and many other aspects uh, in, involved in your health. You want to check out my video on the reasons it is important to lose belly fat and to do it and how to do it right. I have uh, such a video, so look over uh, my health uh, videos to find this video um, on my channel. It will uh, help you understand the problems associated with belly fat and, and how to reduce this type of belly fat in your body. Now, the next uh, lifestyle change that you want to follow to increase your growth hormone levels is um, fasting. There is a study, a few studies that show the growth hormone levels increase dramatically three days into true fasting uh, by over 300%. There are downsides to fasting and uh, like uh, gout is in, uh, can happen and a fall in blood pressure when standing as well as cardiac arrhythmias. So I don't really recommend uh, um, fasting for a couple of days in this, unless you find it easy to do and you want to do it. But there is another type of fasting uh, called intermittent fasting which is different and can be done regularly uh, for the long term without the negative side effects of true fasting. Intermittent fasting is also, you can add it to your lifestyle very easily. I made a video on intermittent fasting and you should watch it. It helps optimize growth hormone levels by dropping, uh, also it helps drop fat levels and uh, keeps insulin levels stable during the night and the day. Studies have shown that intermittent fasting also leads to um, uh, increase in growth hormone production in the body. So check out my video about that and how to how to follow intermittent fasting the best way for the long as a long term solution. Now also you want to reduce your sugar intake. Sugar and refined carbohydrates raise insulin levels. Uh, so reducing the intake of such foods will help optimize human growth hormone levels in the body. Excessive sugar intake also plays a major role in weight gain and obesity known to reduce growth hormone production. Also exercise, uh, <clears throat> this is one of the most effective ways to raise gr uh, human growth hormone in the body uh, significantly. High intensity exercise affects growth hormone levels the most, so you want to do weight training uh, to increase your growth hormone levels. Um, this will increase it the most, uh, but actually any type of exercise is really beneficial. Now, uh, <clears throat> there is a negative side to growth hormone. When consuming foods that increase growth hormone production, there is no risk involved and the benefits are extensive as I mentioned in this video. However, there are potential risks that come with chronic growth hormone administration as a um, med medication. With chronic growth hormone administration, there is an in increase in uh, BMI, body mass index, uh, an increase in heart disease and an increase in the prevalence of metabolic syndrome uh, through reduced insulin sensitivity and increase in fasting sugar and lipoprotein A levels. Now diabetes also appears in about 4% of people on growth hormone administration therapy and carbohydrate intolerance happens in 20% of people on this treatment. So there are um, risks. Also, there is a, a, an increased risk in uh, cancer recurrence in cancer survivors, um, especially those who have received growth hormone therapy at, during childhood. Uh, to minimize the impact of, um, of these adverse effects, it is appropriate to start treatment only for those people with severe growth hormone deficiency. Also, treatment should begin with the minimum effective dose and increase upwards only when necessary. While also monitoring, you want to make sure you monitor your blood sugar levels, hemoglobin A1C, and the lipid profile. So 
As with any other hormone, having healthy levels of human growth hormone is essential to our health. Our endocrine system that regulates hormones performs best when we eat and live healthily. It just takes some amount of effort and being mindful uh, about our lifestyle choices, but the results are immense. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And please also visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.